All right, so for this series of videos, we're gonna uh, be playing with an iMessage application. You could do uh, a lot of what we're gonna talk about in any old uh, single view application, uh, at least in terms of the uh, the picker view stuff. So don't think that uh, this, at least the, you know, this first uh, few videos or so only applies to an iMessage application, but I've kind of turned into a bit of a uh, an evangelist for iMessage apps. I think there's a lot of potential there, especially to become kind of a big fish in a small pond, at least uh, here in 2016. Uh, but uh, what we're going to do is going to go to File, New. So if you're not already seeing this screen, go to File, New, and then uh, at the iOS tab, iMessage application, just click on next, and we'll call this, uh, how about uh, message uh, picker, again, go up to next, I'm just going to put this uh, on the old desktop, and let's make sure, make sure you guys can see everything, okay, so we have um, our two targets here, uh, one, we're really just not going to use, okay, the, uh, the message picker application target right here, see the little distinction between extension and application, uh, there's no real app that's going to be attached to this. So uh, when people install it, they are not uh, going to end up uh, being able to open the app from the, the home screen on their phone. They're only, only going to be able to get to this uh, application through the uh, app drawer in uh, their messages app. Okay. So when you pay attention to kind of the file size and things like that, this one doesn't matter. This one uh, does. And uh, I'm sure whatever you build up, though, is not going to be that uh, that hefty. Uh, one thing I do try to do, though, is, um, is just keep the, the data between these two the same. So, for example, my display name, I just try to have it match whatever that is over there. Same with version and uh, the build, because I'm not really positive which one of these uh, iTunes Connect pays attention to when you upload it. So, you know, but they should just match anyway, right? And then... Um, as for the rest of it, uh, you know, just click on automatically manage signing. Just let, uh, you know, let X go do the rest of that. So let's take a look at then at uh, our message extension group over here. Again, this is the app stuff. Really does not matter. So just fold it up and let's get inside of here. All right. So you can see that we've got uh, some code already set up in here. The view did load. Obviously, this is going to be an important one for us because uh, as soon as the app loads up, we get to run some code there, uh, you know, setting up our initial GUI and things like that. And then uh, did receive memory warning. Hey, if you want to put a print statement in there and just to see if uh, things are getting full, I don't know. You can. Uh, and the project that I tested all this with, uh, I actually don't think I ever did do that. So, uh, and then will become active. Uh, I, a couple times I did kind of test with this, put a print, print statement in there, but uh, we're not going to worry about it too much. Same with the did resign active. Uh, did receive. It uh, doesn't really matter uh, for this uh, app, uh, you know, that the we successfully sent the, the user a message. Or, and I'm not, I don't even think that's really when this gets called. But did start sending is kind of an important one because let me show you the distinction here. So, uh Here's a here's an app that I you know tested all this with. All right, so when we go and we send one of these things, okay, so right here here's what you're gonna send. Uh, this is just kind of initiating getting it sent. All right, so you know you basically just hit send me and it goes up into here, but that doesn't call that function over there. It's only when the uh, user actually hits this uh, arrow. You know, it starts to send off that uh, that this is going to fire. So this is a cool way to exactly what it says, right? This is a cool way to uh, maybe tally up how many times uh, the user has really used the app, and not so much, I guess, for like you know, for you to know that, but uh, for the app to know that. So, for example, you could say, okay, you know, after you've sent. Um, 10 messages using this app, we're going to unlock uh, special features or something like that. And, you know, when these things do get sent, so for example, if I had in my kind of you know, test version, did I send it? I can't remember if I did or not. Uh, well, on the receiving end, if somebody did like uh, tap on it, it's, um, it's going to do one of two things. If they already have the app, it's going to open up the app full screen for them. So then there would be kind of this back and forth interplay between two people using the same app. They'd go, oh, well, maybe I'll respond using the app, right? Uh, but if they don't have it, it's going to initiate opening the uh, the Apple Store so that they can download it. So again, very viral. And, uh, and same thing when you send stickers and things like that. It's going to say from, and then it's going to list the app name underneath. So, uh, you know, hopefully if you make a cool app, it kind of takes off like that. And then uh, do, 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 we'll transition and did transition to. So this is just basically um, the text when the when we're going from expanded to the compact mode. And again, let me bring this back in to show you guys that. So for example, right now we're in compact mode. When you tap down over here, 
is just going to put this into an expanded mode. And obviously at that point, what we want to do is uh, change around where the uh, you know GUI, the, the elements, buttons, and things like that are going to be. Uh, so that is what you get started with, with uh, one of the iMessage app. And uh, in the next video, what we'll do is we'll jump right into uh, setting up our picker view. And if you don't already know what that is, it's this thing that I kind of <laughs> neurotically spin around whenever I see one of these things. I love just kind of flicking at it and making it go up and down. So, uh, and it's a great, uh, great element to give people data.